Well, we're now coming into some great news, some fabulous news, the best news that we can ever have. The Bible says in Revelation 21, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away and the sea was no more. I saw. Everyone loves new things. You love it was a new shirt, a new dress, a new pair of shoes, a new bag. Um, and you can move on to bigger things, a new house, a new car. Um, you know, so many things. We love new things. And we're tired. We're frustrated with the present world system. This world as it is, you know, everyone talks about um, climate change, pollution, um, very hot summers or droughts or um, hurricanes. So many things going on in this world is what god almighty has promised us he says um we have a new heaven there is going to be a new heaven there's going to be a new earth it's going to be paradise paradise restored now you and i can use our imagination and try to visualize as we best can what a beautiful sky is going to be like what your home is going to be like what your surroundings the trees the grass the flowers the animals think try to picture the best thing that you can a utopia that's what god has in plan god has in store for us because as c.s lewis said we know that we were made for something better than this we long we're striving in this world for perfection for better things for development for improvement to make our lives easier, to make it simpler, to make it more comfortable, to make the world around us a better place. But man keeps failing and failing and failing. One way or the other, we are failing. God, what man has failed to do, God is able to do. That's in God's plan. A new heaven and a new earth. Because for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away and the sea was no more. Beloved, this is great news. This is our hope as followers, as believers in Jesus Christ. Our hope is not in this world, in this world system. We can, I do believe we should be responsible, paying attention to what we can to reduce waste, recycle, take care of things around us because God put Adam in the garden to tend it, to care for it. We should be responsible. But we will know that because of man's sinfulness and wickedness and so on, and even nature itself that's been judged by God and under a curse, everything here, we know that, well, we cannot perfect the present. But God has a plan, a new heaven and a new earth. I know you want to be there. The question is, is your name written in the last book of life, as I mentioned in the last video?